Welcome back to another video and as usual we have another battery DIY project and this little crude battery pack is a DIY power bank and I bought this module from Amazon you can get them on sites like uh, Timu and AliExpress but I wanted to get my hands on it a bit faster so basically you get two of these for the price of $18.09 at the time of my purchase. And it accepts a voltage from 3 to 4.2 volts. So basically a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. So you can add more capacity by joining your cells in parallel, not in series, because that would increase the voltage. And you can do it up to a capacity of 200,000 milliamp hours. So that's, that's quite big. Inside this pack, which I've already taped up, uh, very DIY style, are two Samsung 18650 cells. And they are rated for 3,500 milliamp hours. So this has a total of 7,000 milliamp hours or 25.9 watt hours at 3.7 volts look at my tape job there i really should get some um of that really big pbc heat shrink stuff i've labeled it so i remember what it is so all you had to do was solder uh the positive there and the negative there after my cells are hooked up in parallel there's two single 18650 battery cases in there and I just taped it up and this is just held on by some double-sided tape very DIY but it works and to give it a bit more reinforcement I just put some hot glue over the terminals there the pads to prevent it from being yanked out and also to prevent some you know short circuits this has built-in overcharging, over-discharging, short circuit protection, and excessive temperature. So it's got all the battery safety built-in. You don't need an external BMS or anything. It's all in one. So um, we have two USB -A, two USB A ports, a quick charge, and a standard. And these three ports are only for input, USB C micro usb and funnily enough this is a lightning port the apple lightning port so you can actually charge it from an iphone lightning cable the usb c port is only five volts not a power delivery input so if you try and plug in a a, a power delivery usb adapter it doesn't work it only accepts five volts so it's quite slow to charge and so you literally only get two USB-A ports. The rest of them are input ports. So I have discharged this fully and I was just charging it up. So it's, let's see what it says. It should say 7% because that's where I kind of pulled it out. That's right, there it is. Uh, there's only one button. It's this one on the side. You hold it in and it turns it off. Hold it in and it turns it on. If you just plug something in there, it just starts drawing current from it, drawing power from it, and this display will turn off um, in about 30 seconds, I think, of no activity, or if it's just charging to save power. So, um, this is what it looks like when I plug in the charger, so it flashes in for charging. And you can see the stats currently, uh, 4.73 volts in, almost an amp, uh, put in 3.5 watt hours so far in just under an hour. And what else? Yeah, when you plug in a charge here, it will say, yeah, we're drawing power out of it, and it'll say 5 volts. If you're using the quick charge port, and it does support quick charger device, these LED indicators light up. 
So yeah, there we go. Now, the costs. The costs. I did do some preparation here. Let's have a look. DIY power bank. So we've got the 18650 3.7 volt power bank module. It comes in a pack of two. So I halved it. And each piece comes to $9.05. We have two Samsung 18650 3500 milliamp hour cells rated for 10 amps, $17.98. That's not including shipping. And two 18650 battery holders. I can't remember how many came in the pack, but $1.60 for both of them. Total of $28.63. Um, this I got from Tinker Tech Australia, a South Australian company. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good um, prices. Uh, these two are from from Amazon. Okay, so that price, that's, that's not too bad, I think. But that's not including um, stuff that you might have lying around at home. So tape, wiring, of course, the USB cables to charge things, and soldering tools. And hot glue, which I didn't write. I have all that stuff, so it didn't cost me anything extra. Now, you could just get a commercial power bank from Amazon. What's this? Charmcast, 10,000 milliamp hour, $20.39. So we're getting 3,000 more milliamp hours for much less. INIU, same capacity, $29.99. I actually own one of these. Really good. Um, Xyron, 20,000 20, milliamp hour for the same price so yeah it's not that more expensive to just get a commercial power bank and it looks better it's streamlined you get warranty and all that kind of stuff DIY or buy well for DIY you're learning about electronics you know exactly what cells you are putting into your battery pack to your power bank and of course it's fully configurable and customizable something breaks you can pull it apart and do it yourself okay and i love tinkering with it that's why i do this kind of stuff and what about just buying well it's can be cheaper it's more compact plenty of features you just buy it plug and play and it works Plus, you get the warranty and support. Um, yeah, you might get warranty and support on this stuff as well. But the components, are so, the components are so cheap on its own, you might as well just buy the replacement part anyway. Yeah, so that was my quick kind of teardown and comparison of going DIY or going commercial. Well, I have both. And it's just a matter of whether you like playing with the stuff and learning about it, which I do. So I um, don't know what I'm going to use this for, but currently I'm just going to give it a, another charge cycle, give, them, give it another discharge cycle. And because everything is modular, I can pull this apart later and use it for something else. And there we have it. This is the DIY power bank.